Hey, Cameron with Iron Force Knives here. Just wanted to share a quick tip for Fusion 360 users. Uh, if you're using Fusion 360 on a laptop, and uh, if you're like me, I used a MacBook Pro, but recently I switched because Mac doesn't really make a great uh, GPU laptop, so my other Mac was getting kind of slow in Fusion, and uh, so I switched to a Dell XPS, and uh, I discovered that the gestures that work so well with the MacBook and Fusion 360 do not work on a Windows Precision trackpad, which was a huge disappointment. But uh, I found a trick I think some people would find helpful. So I installed a program called Auto Hotkey. And basically what it lets you do is map keys, including mouse buttons, to other keys on your keyboard. So after you install it, you right click and click auto hotkey script or new auto hotkey script then you it'll come up with this and these are the only things I added this right here is the left alt button and this maps that button to the middle mouse button this is the left, left shift button and this maps it to shift plus the middle mouse button and what that lets you do in fusion whenever you hit hold down the shift button it lets you orbit and the alt button lets you pan so that makes it much much easier to use than trying to use the cube all the time uh, it makes it much more similar to the MacBook but still not as good and uh, I used the left specific keys so that since I'm right handed I use the trackpad with my right hand uh, so it's easy to use there but now if I need to use a capital letter or something like that I can use the right keys on the keyboard to do the normal functions of the Alt and Shift key. But if you uh, need to, you can always disable it by going down to your taskbar and right clicking and click Suspend Hotkeys. So yeah, hopefully that's useful for somebody. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys later.